ready to blow some minds. All right, here we go. Sine, cosine, theta, tangent. Those are the things we need to know. This is theta. Okay? All right. So, ka, toa. All right. The reason why I write it that way is because the sign of the opposite over, sorry, 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 the sign of theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, okay? The sine, the cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, okay? And the tangent theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. Now we need to know what the heck he's talking about as far as adjacent, opposite, hypotenuse. Well, we should know what a hypotenuse is, right? Right? The hypotenuse is always across from the right angle. Right? So this is the hypotenuse. That's pretty easy. And if this is theta, Right? Then opposite of theta, <clears throat> excuse me, opposite of theta would be what? The opposite side, right? Mm -hmm. So the adjacent side, adjacent meaning next to, right? The adjacent side to theta. is the one touching theta adjacent. Now there's two touching theta, the hypotenuse and the adjacent side, right? So you have to find the hypotenuse first. Once you do that, it's golden, right? Because the sine of theta is seven over 25. What does that mean? The sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. That means that the hypotenuse has to be 25. Because the sine of theta is 7 over 25. The opposite 7 over the, the 25. Yeah? Got it so far? What is cosine theta? Cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. What is adjacent to theta? What's adjacent to theta? And I'm not saying peace, brother. 24. How? No, I'm not doing that. It's like 24. Thank you. 24 is adjacent. What's hypotenuse? We just said it. What's the hypotenuse? 25. 25. Right? And so I can do all of these if I wanted. It asks us for the cosine. Okay. 24 over 25, that was easy. But what's the sine equal to? Well, it told us, right? What did it say? 7 over 25. So what's tangent? What's opposite? 7 over adjacent, which is 24. Say no more. Well, I have to say more. 
Because we gotta do 34 now. All right, 34. They wanna know, find the hypotenuse. How do you find the hypotenuse? Now this is a right angle, okay? So how do I find the hypotenuse? Remember, this is the hypotenuse, right? Don't we all like, also call it C? And A and B? Or A could be the smallest one, if you want, and B. It's up to you, I don't care. Right? So A squared, 6 squared, plus B squared, plus 8 squared, equals C squared, Right? So what's 6 squared? 36. 36. What's uh, 8 squared? 64. And what's 36 and 64? 100. And what's the square root of 100? Yeah, because this is a Pythagorean triple, people. Think about it. Three, four, five triangle. Except three times two is six, four times two is eight, and five times two is ten. Right? So we got to remember our Pythagorean triples. They're up here if you need them. Three, four, five, five, twelve, thirteen, seven, twenty-four, twenty-five, and eight, fifteen, seventeen. Oh, look, 7, 24, 25. What? Pythagorean triple. All right, the last problem says, hey, find the missing angles. So I need to know what this angle is. Let's call it theta. What is theta? Is it 30, 60, 90? Huh? Is it 30, nope, 60, 90? not 30, 60, 90. This is a right triangle. In fact, this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle, which means that it's going to be something like 52, 90, and whatever 90 is, minus 52, which I think is 38. Right? But, let me digress. I'm going to put it in terms of theta. What is theta equal to? The sine of theta equals what? What's the sine of theta? Opposite over opposite over hypotenuse, right? Which would be how much? Eight over ten. Very good. Wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it be wonderful if I could take the sine of theta that equals 8 over 10, right? But I could just find theta. Wouldn't that be awesome? That would be really cool, wouldn't it? We can do it! It's really easy. It's called the arc uh, tangent, arc sine, or some people call it the, the uh, inverse, okay? All right, so theta is equal to the inverse sine of 8 over 10. And some people call it the arc sine, so on some calculators it will look like this. A sine of 8 over 10. But then all I do is I grab a calculator, right? And I go, calculator, can you calculate 8 divided by 10? And it says, sure, that's 8 tenths. And then I say, calculator, can you take that? And I'm going to shift you on the sine. Instead of pushing sine, I'm going to push 
second sign, and then answer. But I can, I can actually just put in point A. But answer equals. What did I say it was? 52? I was wrong. 53! Point. What is it? 1, 3. Right? And then if I want to find the other angle, we know it's a triangle, it adds up to be 180, right? One of them's 90, so the other one's complementary, right? So I just take 90 minus 53.13, right? And I get how much? Well, 53 and what, 37? So it would be 36.87. time for the next time. Is that good? And then double check it. Oh, hey, we could call this theta, but that would be kind of, let's call it phi. It looks like theta, but turned on its side. And well, that's called phi. Right? And we could do the sine of phi opposite over, right? And then the inverse sine of phi would be 6 over 10, right? Arc sine of this should equal 36.87. And let's see. Arc sine of 0.6 is 36.87. Hallelujah. We know our math. What? Yeah?